Hello everybody and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2. Some sad news. Francis has died of old age. Rest in peace Francis. We may have to find a replacement uh, to put in there soon. But I wanted to start off just by giving you guys a walkthrough of the reptile house that we made in the last video. We got our nice little food court over here. We come in. You got some uh, empty space right here. We can maybe put some entertainment stuff. Then we have our blue whip-tailed lizards, uh, which are pretty sick looking, if I do say so myself. Eggs all over the place because they're having some babies. Uh, empty exhibit for right now, but I'm thinking when we get uh, a snake, we put a snake in there. Let's kind of run ahead. Here is our poison dart frog exhibit. You can see this guy hopping around right now. Uh, and sure, we'll clean up the reptile poop and groom him uh, since we can through glass. Not that that's uh, a problem or anything. We have our Galapagos tortoises who hate their lives so much they're trying to drown themselves, uh, which is, you know, kind of sucky. But they're doing fine as is. I'm happy to see them. They're doing great. And then we have our crocodiles, which are having a good time uh, trying to eat the guests. Good times. Uh, so what are we doing today? Uh, well, you guys voted and you guys wanted Emperor Penguins. That was the greatest uh, vote. We also had some votes for Moose and some votes for Grey Wolf. So we're going to do a little area called the Tundra. So here's kind of what I have set up. Uh, we're going to be working on this area today. It's going to be three different exhibits, maybe. I mean, yeah, the Moose, this is a pretty small exhibit for two Moose. Uh, so we will put the Moose in here. What is this thing? European Porcupine. I love it. Uh, sounds awesome. Then we will put, hey, a snake. Well, th that's good. Uh, then we will put in this exhibit, when we get them, polar bears. Uh, and we're maybe going to set up the exhibit today and then go from there. Although I will be honest with you, this maybe is a small exhibit for some polar bears. Uh, but we will see. We need to get to a three-star zoo in order to get polar bears. And then this in here is going to be our emperor penguins. And that's who we're going to start with today. So before we even get into making the exhibit, I want to do some little uh, cool stuff. Uh, with some elevated paths. So we're going to start off by making two elevated paths, although I kind of want... Uh, those are really nice elevated paths, actually. Never mind, we're going to roll with these. Uh, what did I choose to forest elevated path? Is this it? Uh, yeah, these are really nice. So we're going to roll with these. Uh, let's get this taken care of. Then we're just going to go down on the other side uh, as well here, just to make this all nice and then we will double it up uh, just so that there is some room for people to sit up here and enjoy our penguins we are going to make a uh i think we're going to make a tank for our penguins why is this acting so strange there we go beautiful uh our challenge one yeah our maintenance workers went on strike for a while so i just paid to have some uh strike workers come in and take care of business it was no big deal but let's extend you know what, let's extend this side out a little bit. Just ever so slightly. Although I want uh, forest elevated. Here. Beautiful. Uh, and then we'll extend this out to... Uh, God, these are so tough to uh, work sometimes. Let's just get this taken care of. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and then we will curve it off a little bit if we can like so, and like so, and then we can get rid of this excess, uh, which I didn't really want in the first place, like so. Beautiful. This is going to work out fine, even though I just now screwed it up, uh, and we have to go back in and try to place this tiny piece in again. Beautiful, and beautiful. Okay, so there's now our elevated viewing platform for our uh, penguins here. How do we want to make this exhibit? Well, I kind of want to... Let's grab some fences. I think we're just going to go with our low uh, stone like we have. Just because this fence looks nice. And it's going to look nice in a tundra here. So let's run this fence. If you're wondering why I went with the uh, asphalt now instead of uh, the concrete. I figured that there's going to be so much white with the uh, snow. That having some black to go against it would be good contrast. And then I kind of just did a little transition with the paths. Uh, from the concrete into this area. Just kind of a detailed thing. But let's take a look here. I also uninstalled the one uh, camera mod that I had on simply because it was just, it was a little funky to work with and I think it was causing some FPS lag for me. So I figured that I would get rid of it. 
So we have this. Our whiptail lizards are hatching. That's a good thing. Let's bump down this uh, elevated platform here. We really don't want these uh, stands in here. We will put in our own. That will look nice. And then let's make a tank for these guys. So stone tank wall. Why does that sound like a beautiful idea? We're just going to create this tank coming out to like, I don't know, uh, here-ish. And then circle back around. Come on down. And then bring it back. Well, we might as well like... Bring it in a little bit, bring it in a little bit, bring it over, uh, and then have it go... Please give me this back. Please give me this back. Okay. Have it come down this way. Like, maybe like that. And then this is going to fill with water as soon as we're done. Beautiful. Let's now bring this down, like so. Uh, man, part of me really doesn't care for this. Uh, but let, let's work with it. So we have the option to get a rescued animal. Yeah, I like getting rescued animals. Uh, they adopted the species over there. We got 3,000 deducted. Hopefully this is a really good uh, animal. And it is a Gemsbach. Oh, Lord. What do we do with that, man? Uh, you're a scrub guy? Do you want to just chill with the kangaroos for a while? <laughs> just, like, chill out in there. It'll be okay. Uh, I'll give you some hay. I'll give you some grass. Uh, and you, you just hang out with them. It'll be okay. Uh, here's a salt lick for you. And that is an amazing looking salt lick. Apparently that's a mod that changes that. And then you can also sleep under there. It's a good time, man. Uh, life is going to be fine for you. Beautiful. Uh, let's keep the game going, not paused. And then, how do you raise single, uh, things of these? Is it just, yeah, it's just like this. So then we can raise these up. Not in the style of that, uh, Christian rock singer, you raise me up so I can stand on mountains. No. We're just gonna raise these up ever so slightly and then bring these down ever so slightly. Like so. That way the, uh, penguins can get in and out of these just fine. Uh, I would love it if just this singular stone wall would go down. Uh, is there any way that we can force this to happen? I think there might be. Let's bring this down, or like to here-ish. Is that bumping into our thing? It is. Alright, uh, let's bring it down just a little bit more. Beautiful. And then we want to get the stone wall, please. Please allow me to just get it. Okay, let's grab our penguin again. Grab our penguin. Hop in here. Grab our tank. Okay. Now that's gonna, like, go all the way up like so. Let's get rid of this. Bring these... Down... To here. Then add in... Stone wall. Why is this game so finicky sometimes? <laughs> then we put... Okay, that's not gonna like that. Fair enough. Uh, so how do we get around this? We simply do that, and then we decorate this up with rocks, man. Put a giant rock, like, right here, and another one right there, and all of a sudden life is looking good. How does this look with the platform? No problem whatsoever. I think that actually looks really good. Uh, I don't know what in the Christ this platform over here is doing because we have the tank in here. Okay, let's let's take care of that now then. Please get rid of this and then get rid of this. And then I what in the world is this thing doing? Uh let's grab our elevated platform. You know what? I'm going to time lapse this. You guys don't need to see me struggling. Uh I will be back in a little bit.
Okay, here we go. So here's our, oh, what is this now? Photograph some stuff, sounds good. Uh, here is our penguin exhibit done. Let's just toss our, you know what? Let's not toss our penguins in yet. Let's start working on some of the other exhibits. Let's do, we just got the polar bear. So let's just take care of this one real quick. Uh, and we're going to do this one a little bit interesting. Uh, I want to have a inside viewing for these guys. So we are going to do the giant glass. Yeah, not in a square format though, please. Uh, giant glass in right here. Although I want the one that uh, is not like that. These ones. Okay. Grab these. Giant glass like so. Then the polar bears will be on the inside. I actually think we're going to extend their exhibit all the way over to here just to give them more space. Uh, but on this side, they will be uh, a different fence because it'll be a little outside portion. Uh, I like having the outside and the inside uh, to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. Then we'll put our normal cobble walls that we've been doing with the entrance right there, like so. Uh, and then we will put in a roof here soon. Uh, okay, we just lost our stars, but we still have the polar bear, I hope. Um, let's put in our fences over here. Now, do we want them to be viewable from this side? I don't think we do. So we're going to put this fence like this so that they're not viewable from right there. And instead, it just provides a little bit of extra... Uh, texture to this place. And I actually think we're going to go in and we're going to change these so that they're all the same height. Uh, just so that we aren't screwing with the heights of our place uh, and we stick with straight up five instead of six everywhere. This will look fine. Uh, it'll be cozy on the inside. I'm excited. Okay, let's grab our Tundra Path. Usually not a fan of this, but uh, I think on the inside of this uh, exhibit it will look pretty okay. So let's get this in here, like so. And then we just go in and delete those two, come over here, go in, delete these two. And then we'll just stick a roof on here, uh, which we will do with, I mean, honestly, maybe the uh, one that we just had, that uh, forest path is our right choice here. So let's do this real quick. Uh, I think that actually looks kind of cool. I'm, I'm down with this. This is fine. Uh, and then we will bring this over, bring this over, and then bring this on top, and then just go in and get rid of our excess, like right here, and over here, right... Oh, all this, okay. This, this, and this, this, and this if we can get it to actually select hey one year anniversary it's year two we made it <laughs> i think we actually keep uh two of these supports in here because those look actually pretty nice uh and then do that now do we want to add in some special fences here maybe like a i mean this right here could look nice and then this maybe on this wall as well just to add a little bit of extra uh, stuff here. Make it look a little bit different. I understand that our funds are taking a bit of a uh, tumble as well here. But I'm okay with it. And then we will do maybe... Uh, well, we want to slope this down first. So 5 to 4. And then 3 there. And then that to 2. And then we have maybe uh, some windowed walls here. I don't use these often because uh, I think they look pretty bad, but I think here it works and we will put in maybe uh, one in the middle to split it up and then one on the end just to keep it symmetrical uh, and look good. Now, I will, you know, spoiler alert real quick. I want to have a uh, skyline to put in eventually. Yeah, sky tram. And it's going to go over here and stretch to the other end of the zoo when we get there. So I want to leave this area kind of open. And I'm starting to think that maybe uh, the gray wolves go in this spot. And uh, we forget about the moose entirely. So let's just get rid of the moose. We'll make up our exhibit for our polar bears, which we have now lost. 
excellent. Uh, that makes me real happy, but we can still put this in. Uh, we know what a polar bear is going to need, and we just got him back anyway, so no big deal. So let's get this in. Uh, the gray wolf is alpine, or not alpine, uh, the, 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 the boreal. So we will do a boreal exhibit, but it'll have like some snow in it as well, uh, just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. No pun intended on the fact that uh, there's probably some spruce wood in a biome like so. Let's give the polar bear some water, and then let's grab him back. He is no longer here. What a little jerk face. Not a fan of him right now. Uh, and now we have to search for the polar bear to make his return. Which sucks. Okay, let's do our gray wolf exhibit then. Uh, what fence do we want for these guys? They're a little bit more dangerous. So I think that... What does this look like? Yo, I actually like that a lot. It's for a horse, but I think it actually looks pretty good for this uh, wolf here. So let's bring this all the way around. Like so. We want to make sure we have food stands in here as well. Uh, because the guests will ruin our lives if they don't have their food. We could do a cage for these guys. Oh, I like this more. That just wasted a bunch of money, but uh, I like the cage more. I know this is actually for uh, aviary, but it sure does look good as a cage. Oh, uh, it looks so good. I like that actually a lot. Okay, so let's put in our boreal forest here. I would like it if you actually put in some trees. But apparently that's uh, too much to ask, apparently. Make sure we cover up all of our uh, grassland spots here. Beautiful. Uh, there's a ton of trees, man. Come on, help me out here. Put some of these in. So we'll make this area all kinds of densely populated with trees. There's a ton of them in here. We might as well put a ton of them in here. And get this place as nice looking. Oh, I love this tree. This is a nice tree. I love that boulder. That's a nice boulder. So this is going to be a nice looking exhibit as a whole. Oh, it's so good. I love it a lot. Uh, and then we will... Reindeer lichen? Sure. I, I love it. Some flowers here and there is nice. Some big rocks. Big rock in this corner. Maybe some medium rocks. Some smaller rocks. A big boulder right here. Uh, another big rock right there. And all of a sudden, this is a nice looking exhibit. So then, what kind of shelter do these guys do? Do we want to do the cave? Well, what does this look like? That's a nice uh, shelter, man. These guys do the big rock. Uh, maybe we just, like, large burrow? Large rock cave? Uh, maybe we research this one? this one, this one, and then we'll see which one we like the most out of those. Uh, but this this is a cool exhibit right now. I like this one a lot. Let's research the balls. We'll put a bone in here and a bone over there. Put some live frogs in here. Don't want to do a heat rock for them, and they don't need this weird uh, thing here. But then, I, I want this. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Uh, and then, throw some fish around. Maybe with some over there. Uh, chicks, that's a little d disturbing, if I do say so myself. And then we'll throw some meat over there, some meat down here. Do we want to give them a small watering hole in the middle? Probably. Uh, so let's get a small watering hole in the middle. The rocks look good around that. Uh, but we'll also put some water, like, over here. Let's see, beef shank, sure. Spent a lot of uh, money in this exhibit right now. <laughs> But that's fine. We want to uh, make sure that we're spending money. Let's head back in here. Hope that we achieve polar bear. Red-eyed tree frog. That's a good one to get. A wild sheep. Where are you? You are in Alpine. Okay. I was intrigued for a second. Come on, man. I just want the polar bear back. Let's put the penguins in. Although I know that as soon as I put in the penguins, people are going to start coming over here. So I'm going to actually pause the game for right now. Uh, and... Do we want to... Let's decline the tree frogs for now. Uh, I want to get in some benches and crap. So I'm going to time lapse again real quick to put in some benches and stuff along those lines. 
Okay, everybody, so I've done a lot of things uh, during this small little break that we had. Keeper Sullivan, stop freaking out, man. Just because there's poop in this exhibit and the zookeeper in this exhibit is trash uh, does not mean that you have to try to get all the way there when, uh, well, frankly, this whole area is taken care of by other people. Okay, so we have our uh, wolves in the exhibit now, all ready to go. I put in their home. Uh, also decorated up this area. These people are freaking out. Why are you freaking out, people? They're viewing animals? Were they playing tag or something? No, they're just freaking out, man. You, you keep running. Uh, our polar bear exhibit does not have polar bears in it yet, uh, but over the uh, off-camera time, I will make sure that those polar bears do, in fact, get in here. Our penguins, the exhibit got a little bit of a uh, redo. I guess you could say our elevated path, it was a little bit too high uh, in my opinion, so I now have it fixed up where uh, it looks nicer now. So that's that, and then we also have this cute little zookeeper house over here. Look at how adorable this thing is. Uh, I think it is absolutely the cutest thing ever. So with that, this is going to be the end of this episode. If you have any uh, suggestions for what you want to see next, please leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.